Hi, how's it going? Just got home from work and had a package from Midway at my uh, doorstep. So uh, I know what it is. It's a scope. It's a Vortex scope. So uh, I'm going to open it up here and uh, get my knife and uh, we'll see what our first impressions of it is. favorite bubble wrap. Alright. As you can see it's a Vortex Viper scope. Uh, this is gonna be the six and a half by twenty model as you can see there. It's got the dead hold BC or sorry, dead hold BDC. <clears throat> All right, we have our Vortex warranty. As most anybody knows, it's Baltimore, Texas, you know, and best in the business. You almost, I mean, you really can't beat the warranty. So, uh, some other paperwork here. Got a Vortex pen included. Uh, looks like a, a cloth of some sort, maybe. I know everybody wants me to just look at the scope. I gotta keep you in suspense for a little bit. Uh, clean cloth and uh, looks like we got some instructions here all right so More instructions uh, here about installing it. Uh, properly mount your rifle scope. We highly recommend using a inch pound torque screwdriver. Do not exceed 18 inch pounds of torque on the ring screws. All right, I'll take our lens cap here. First thing I can tell is this thing seems to be built like a tank. I mean, it's it seems to be pretty heavy. Um, so we're on uh, six and a half power right there. Everything looks pretty clear with it. The uh, Parallax adjustment on the side and it's nice and smooth. It's not a it's not a stiff turning at all. We'll take the uh, cap off here. We'll see. Clicks are very crisp. You can probably hear them. It's a very crisp click like it lines up dead on with your marks. I know some of them, if you click it four times, it should be, um, you know, it's lined up with the one, but maybe just a little bit over, a little bit under, but this one looks like, you know, it's pretty much dead on with that. So, um, this is, I will say, this is my first uh, Vortex Go. Um, so, really didn't know what to expect I had uh, you know, heard a lot of good stuff about them but really didn't know what to expect so all right uh, okay pretty cool feature here it looks like yeah so if I'm um, I don't know if you can you can see this at all say if 
um, right here on the one. And I need to go back to zero to set, reset my zero. I follow these instructions on top of it here. I pull this up and spin it. And then I'll lock back down in place. Real easy to reset your turrets. That, uh, that's a pretty handy little feature there that uh, you know, if you're at the range and sighting it in and don't have a screwdriver or a little tiny Allen set that most of these things take to be able to reset, it's very easy to reset. It's a nice little feature there. Um, yeah, I mean it looks like a uh, looks like it's going to be a good scope. Uh, the glass seems pretty clear. Now, granted, I'm only looking 50 yards or so out the basement window, but it looks really clear. Uh, it seems like it's a pretty nice built scope. So. I got this one on, obviously I showed you the box, I got it on Midway, uh, they had them for a pretty good price, they were I guess a close out on this particular model, um, and got it for about $100 less than what it would normally go for. Let's see if we can't give the, right, we'll can see we turn the power adjustment there it is you know, a little stiff but as you can see here it has an indication indication mark of the power on it that you turn it tells you what power you're on so all in all it looks like it's uh, going to be a good scope all right thanks for watching